What's up, Facebook family? What's up, BTY family? What's up, UMC family? I'm doing this video on my personal page. I'm going to share it on my Coach Bobby page. Uh, I invite you guys, you all you guys to uh, like and follow my Coach Bobby page. More of my uh, workout tips and my and my um, lessons and, and stories about, about nutrition and fitness are on the Coach Bobby page. My motivational stuff is, is more on the, the Coach Bobby page. Uh, trying to avoid all that on my personal page. But I want you guys to all... Uh, follow me on my Coach Bobby page as well. Today's uh, talk is going to be about, uh, what's up, Pete? It's going to be about uh, mindset and, and framework and how we look at health and fitness. So uh, I'm home early today uh, after my, my corporate class. Uh, if you guys have a company who wants a boot camp there, you're more than welcome, more than happy to, uh, to come out there and do a demo for you guys. Um, so I'm home early for my, my corporate class. Uh, I have a short time where my house is empty. It's quiet. Uh, I'm going to try to get a nap in before taking my daughter to uh, her events, get my son from his basketball practice. So I thought I would share some thoughts with you guys on on fitness and health and so forth. So today's topic, uh, hey Janine, today's topic, I'm going to talk about um, su the success I've had in health and fitness and why I believe um, I've been able to, to, to be consistent and sustain um, my level of fitness uh, now going into my mid-40s, late 40s actually. I'm over, the, I'm over the middle hump. So 46 going into my late 40s and I might be um, have as, as good a grasp on being healthy and fit as I did when I was playing cornerback in college at UC Davis. Um, I won't say I'm as fit, hey Teresa, as I was back then. Uh, but if you if you account for the age difference, um, I am as fit as I was when I was playing cornerback uh, in college. So so why is that? Why why is that? Why am I able to continue um, being fit, being healthy, being strong, uh, being consistent uh, now for thirty years, just about and. It's not about my diet. It's not about my exercise program. That's part of it, obviously. But I'm convinced that it's about my mindset. That's why I talk so damn much to you guys about stuff. That's why I have stories that many of my boot campers can, can recite. If I just say, who knows my asthma story? Or who knows my you know, UC Davis calculus story? Um, Many of my boot campers can recite those because I tell stories. I try to frame things in a way that makes them memorable and makes them relatable to everybody. All right. So today I was talking to, hey, Ann. I was talking to uh, uh, some of my, my students in my corporate class afterwards. Uh, one of them was sharing with me how she's lost some weight. She has has maintained some lean muscle mass, whereas before, when she dieted and and did other ways of training, she lost she lost muscle mass, and she lost critical muscle mass, lost weight, but it ended up being harder for her to keep it off because she had lost muscle mass. So, I was talking to her about uh, framework and, and about mindset and about the long term approach to health and fitness. Right, and so what I want to share with you guys today is a uh, anecdote. It's not a story, really. Uh, an anecdote. Hey, Mike, what's up, buddy? Uh, that will make you think about health differently, hopefully, and about exercising differently, hopefully, um, so that the the path, the journey to becoming fit, although never easy, never easy becomes relatable, at least. Hey, JC, becomes um, something that you can at least understand and connect the dots between why you're doing it, uh, why you're exercising, why you're eating certain things, and how those links, those dots connect back to what your ultimate goal is, all right? So uh, what I want you guys to know and understand is that we are in an environment now, we are in a, a, a world now that is much, much different than number one, what the world was like before 200 years ago, drastically different. And number two, a world that is different than what our bodies evolved to be, right? 
It's an environment that is much, much different than the environment that our bodies evolved to live in, right? For example, right? I have begun, not begun, I have transitioned to a point now where I intermittently fast every day, right? To many people, intermittent fasting is a tool, a tool to lose weight. To me, intermittent fasting is taking my body, my body back to a natural state that it was in for 99% of the existence of human beings, right? Think about that. For 99% of 99% of the existence of the human body, we intermittent, intermittently fasted. We fasted for a bigger portion of the day than we ate, right? So if we refer to that as the eating and the fasting window, for most of our existence, it was a two to one ratio, right? It was, it was, it was, it was two parts fasting, not eating, to at most one part eating, right? So if it was a 24-hour day, 16 of that was spent not eating for most of our existence as human beings. And maybe eight hours of that was spent fueling or getting energy. And we never even thought about fueling or feeding as a way of entertainment or as a way of, 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 of over, overcoming boredom or whatever as we do now. It was, it, was, it was strictly a means to an end. It was strictly meant to fuel our activities, to fuel our, uh, our, our bodies to survive, to live, to procreate, right? To do all the things that we do. Food was meant to fuel that, right? Now it's entertainment. Now it's fun. Now it's enjoyment. But for 99% of our existence, like, mo like most animals, it was not meant for that, right? So... If you fast forward to now, again, it's, it's flip-flopped, right? We had to, our ancestors had to get up, usually upon sunlight or some noise by a rooster, right? We had to get up and then go find or hunt or forage our food, right? There was no McDonald's. There was no microwave. There was no refrigerator that stored bacon and eggs and milk and cereal, no cabinets, no stored food. So we had to go and hunt or gather our food, right? First thing in the morning when we got up. So we didn't eat right away, right? We had to go find food or hunt food, meaning we had to work out first, right? We had to get up and go work out first to get our food, to hunt our food. And so we didn't eat until later in the day, Right. And when the sun went down in the evening, we were done eating, if not well before that. At the very latest, we were done eating when the sun went down. Right. There was no there was no late night cravings. There was no late night television. When we sat down and watched Sports Center or watched Housewives or Bachelor and ate food. Right. So for most of our human existence, right, by design, our eating window was around seven, eight, six, seven, eight hours. It had to be, right? By necessity, right? By design of the world, right? We couldn't eat too early and we couldn't eat too late, right? And and we ate for fuel, right? We do, you know, there were no cravings. You know, my great, 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 great grandfather didn't have cravings for foods, right? He didn't eat for pleasure, right? My great, 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 great grandmother right, didn't eat for fun, right, maybe celebration every once in a while as a gathering in a village or a tribe or whatever, but it wasn't for fun, right, it wasn't consistently for fun, so when I tell people that I intermittently fast, that I don't eat any food before three o'clock, they think I'm crazy, right, and I tell them I, I, I do it more easily than most because I have ketones that I drink, Right, I supplement my 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 fasting window with amino acids and ketones. Makes it easier, but at the end of the day, I'm just doing to my body what it was meant to do. Right, I'm I'm allowing my body to tap into fat storage more regularly. Right, by not giving it glucose consistently. Right, so it's mindset, it's structure. Right, so when when, when we think about our daily decisions we make. Right, we decide to eat breakfast. We decide to have beers after work. We decide to sit down and eat chips 
while watching The Bachelor. We just make those decisions every day. All I'm saying is if you decide that, understand that you decided to do that. No one made you do that. You're not meant to do that. I know it's easy because, I mean, it's not easy because habitually we've been doing that for years, right? But you can change any habit you want to change, right? So if you think of it that way, that we are deciding to treat our body differently than the way it was designed, designed, then at least you understand what's going on, right? You're not, you're not a victim to what society has created. Yeah, everybody at lunch goes to lunch. I get that. I sit around and watch my corporate accounts. I watch everybody like, like sheep go to the cafeteria at 12 o'clock. Not everybody is hungry at 12 o'clock. Can't be. That's impossible. The whole world is hungry at 12 o'clock. No, it's a habit, right? We habitually go down to eat at 12 o'clock or 1230 or whatever it is because the whole herd is doing it. All the sheep are doing it. So I'm going to do it, right? We habitually get up and have food, right? Cereal, bacon and eggs, toast, coffee, whatever it is. That's a habit, right? Our bodies were not designed to do that. So because of that, because our bodies were not designed to have a, an abundance of glucose in it, and because our bodies are designed to store excess energy for later use, our bodies have been doing that for years, right? Our bodies have been storing for later use glucose for years in the way of fat, right? And we're surprised by that. Our bodies have been designed to store that. Our ancestors didn't have food readily available. So they had to, our bodies were designed to, when food was available, we could eat more than we had to eat and we could store the extra as body fat for a time that was inevitable when there was no food for days or weeks. And our bodies had to tap into fat storage to, to release energy to use in the moment, right? So the way I think about it is all I'm doing now is trying to recreate an environment for my body that it was meant to be in. OK, and so now when you layer on top of that, of that of that fact that our bodies have been treated in a way that they were not designed to be treated. It's like having a Porsche or having a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and plowing the fields with it. Right. Never knowing what your what your Lamborghini or Porsche was designed to do. Right. And when you layer on top of that, this notion within the last few hundred years of what a body should look like. Well, think about that. Before the last 200 years, there was no thought about six-pack abs and chiseled chest and nice glutes. That's all been created by us, right? And nothing wrong with that. I mean, I like walking around the mall with a, with a tank top on. I like being able to go to the beach and showing off you know, what I've worked so hard to create, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But we have to remember, we created that idea, right? We created what a body should look like. What's up, JB? We created that, right? Nothing wrong with it, right? My boy JB has huge arms. He likes huge arms. I like big arms. But we created that idea of what an arm should look like, what a good arm should look like, what a nice uh, abs should look like. We created that. Right, So we created that and we created an environment that makes that very challenging. Right, It's hard to have both. Right, That's why if you don't change how you think about it, you can't win this ball game. You can't win. You can't say, I, I enjoy all the things we created from a, from a nutritional and, and environmental and societal structure. I love that. I love getting up and having breakfast. You know, at whenever I want it. I love being able to go to have, you know, lunch with my buddies, pasta and drinks. I love all these things. I love sitting on the couch and watching television, you know, binge watching shows while I eat pizza. I love that. But I also love this this this, this fictitiously created ideal body. You can't have both. Right? So either change what you think looks good or change the method by which you are trying to get that. Right? If you don't think being skinny and being fit looks good anymore, that's fine. Continue doing what you do, 
right? But you can't say I can. I, I believe what the magazines say looks good in a woman. I believe that having you know skinny legs and nice butt and and ripped abs. I believe that looks good. But I also want to do these other things that society has created for us that makes life so much easier, so much more enjoyable. Right? It's mindset, guys. Right? I don't. I don't. I don't enjoy sitting down watching football and eating pizza any less than you do. I don't enjoy sleeping in and missing workouts any less than you do, right? But I enjoy this this image of what we all believe looks good more than most, right? I still love walking through the mall and let my son count how many guys look at my arms. I still enjoy that. Is it weird? Maybe, right? But I know to do that. I got to do certain things. I got to intermittently fast. I got to drink ketones. I got to work out three to four times a week. I got to make sure when I do work out, I'm pushing my ass to the limit, breathing heavy, getting lightheaded. If I want to have what society thinks looks good, what we all think looks good, right? So it's not about the right workout. That's part of it. It's not about the right diet. That's part of it. Right, but what it boils down to is the mindset. Very few people have a mindset like me. That's why very few people have biceps and abs like me. Sounds cocky, but it's true. Right? I just think differently about it. Right? I think differently about it. That's it. Right? I fast because I realize our bodies are meant to, to not have glucose all the time. Right? I go away for a weekend, I make sure I work out. Why? Because I know that if I'm gonna have pizza later and my glycogen levels are full when I have the pizza, my body's going to store body fat. And so, yes, maybe I should be relaxing like everybody else who's on the beach covering their, covering their bodies up or in the pool with a t-shirt. Maybe I should be relaxing like they do, like the rest of the world does and ignore the fact that our bodies were not meant to do that. But I can't do that. I won't do that. And I'm hopeful that I can help you guys understand just a few tweaks in your mindset. I'm not saying you can't go away for the weekend with your boys or your girlfriends and have fun. What I am saying, if you do that, be mindful that however you treat your body doesn't change. The biology and physiology behind it doesn't change. So if you fly somewhere, you know, and you get there to Vegas, work out in the morning, right? The next day when you wake up and your boys want to have breakfast at the buffet, right? Skip breakfast if you know you're going to have a fat lunch, right? Because your body's going to respond the way it's meant to respond regardless, all right? So it's about mindset, guys. It's about habits, right? Neither is right or wrong. There is no right or wrong way of doing this, right? It's not wrong to be heavier. It's not wrong to be skinnier. It's not right to have arms and abs, right? But if you want A, and you know the, the line between this and that is, is these steps, then take those steps, right? Simple as that. Take those steps, right? I believe in process. You guys know me. I believe in process, but the process starts not with the right workout, not with the right diet plan. It starts with the, with the right mindset, Right, You have to want to play college football before you begin the process of working toward that. You have to want to be a doctor before you begin the process of learning what classes to take. You have to want those things first before all the tools make sense. I'm not giving you a tool belt if you don't want to be a, be, be a plumber right, or a carpenter. Right, I, I have all the... Trust me, there's few, you, you, you don't know very many people that know more about... Uh, lean muscle building and fat loss than me, right? But I can't give you the tools if you aren't ready to adopt them, right? And part of that is the mindset. It's not sitting here and doing some challenge for 30 days. It's not sitting here and trying to 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 just do things because because it's on Instagram or Pinterest. It's about changing the mindset, changing what you believe is right and wrong. Changing what you believe is healthy and not healthy. Changing what you believe is how your body was meant to function. Changing what you believe you want to be to your kids, to your spouse, right? To the world. 
changing what you believe your brand should be. Right? My Part of my brand is somebody who's fit and somebody who's in your face and will tell you how it is. That's my brand. So I don't feel sorry or I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel any kind of a way about walking around and people looking at me. That's my brand. Right? I don't apologize for that. I have a saying, no apologies, no excuses. Make no apologies for wanting to be great. Make no apologies for wanting to be fit. When most of your circle doesn't want that, at least not right now. Don't apologize for that. Don't apologize for wanting to be lean, for wanting to be healthy, for adopting a new intermittent fasting or a new or a new process for working out or 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 meditating. Whatever you think is gonna get you there, once you decide that, don't apologize for it to anybody. And then once you commit to it, make no excuses to yourself about, about achieving that. You want to lose 30 pounds? Stop making excuses to yourself. Not to me. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm, I always say, I'm going to be fit either way. I'm going to love you either way. Right? Don't make apologies for your, to yourself. Right? Once, you, once you stop apologizing for wanting to be great, don't make excuses to yourself. Right? So it's mindset, guys. I can help you if you want help. I'm doing 45 day plans where I sit down with you and we go over the habits, right? In a way that makes it you know, sustainable, that makes success possible. Right? Anybody can tell you to not eat anything. I saw an ad last night, one of those late night infomercials, a brand new, brand new uh, exercise contraptions, like some, some stretching thing. It's full of shit, they're full of shit, I was so mad. Because they're all full of shit. They, they tell you, you know, you can lose, you know, this person lost 40 pounds holding this damn bar or doing a shake weight, right? And the very bottom it says, you know, results not typical, accompanied by diet. Anybody can tell you not to eat anything ever, right? And do anything every day for a month, right? And you'll lose weight. What they don't tell you is it's not sustainable, number one. And number two, they don't really care if it's sustainable, right? I care about sustainability. I care about life-changing habits. I care about life-changing mindset. That's why I'm an asshole it's in my boot camp. You know, I, I, I always tell them, I, I don't care if you like me, right? I, don't, I want you to like you. I would rather you hate me for yelling at you and pushing you and making you grab a heavier weight but go home and like what you see in the mirror. Then for you to love me and us have fun in the, in the gym and in these videos and you to go home and shower and cry. Right? I'd rather you hate me than hate you. I mean that shit. And if anybody who has, has, has had my class can tell you I mean that. Right? I go home, I feel bad because Bobby, like real Bobby, is compassionate. Real Bobby's introverted. Real Bobby stuttered growing up. Right, but Coach Bobby, athlete Bobby, don't give a shit about any of that. All I care about is that we win this game, and by game I mean this workout, this 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 lesson. Right, I care about winning today. That's Coach Bobby. That's athlete Bobby. That's competitive Bobby. That's training Bobby. Right, I want you to love you. I want you to be around for your kids. I want your kids to be proud of you. I want your kids to follow you, follow your example. Right? You were scared to lose weight, you lost it. You were scared to try this, you did it. They watch you guys. Right? You might say, you know, hustle and do this, but they watch you. Right? Few things bother me more than a parent in the stands telling their kid to hustle and, and, and work hard when it's evident by how they look they don't work hard or hustle. I love them, right? but don't tell, your, don't tell your son or daughter to do what you won't do. Right? That's hypocritical. Right? Don't tell your kid he can be whatever he wants to be when you told him or her five times in the last two years you're gonna lose weight. And he's watched you give up. But you want him to you want him to push? Right? It's mindset, guys. It's mindset. And and you can change like this the path you're on. The destination can be changed overnight, but the path you take, the direction you take can be changed in the instant. I'm shaking. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited. Right? Because, because it's mindset, guys. My mindset is unique. Right? Everyone you know who's fit. I always say people, oh, you're, you're, you're mean. Everybody you know who's fit, 
who, 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 who's in shape, who's healthy, is a lot like me. Right? Their mindset is a little different than everybody else around them. Right? When their friends are having lunch, they're going for a run. Right? When their friends are eating waffles and drinking beers, they're eating kale, and spinach, and salad. Right? They're, we're different. Right? We want different things. That don't mean we don't love you and hang out with you and support you, but we just want to be different. Right? So, change your mindset, guys. That's the key. That's the first step. Change what you want to be. Change what you're willing to do. Right? What you're willing to accept. It's very easy. I always say in my class, too, I, I got dozens, hundreds of Bobbyisms. But I always say it, it boils down to what you're willing to accept in life. Right? And everything, but 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 fitness specific, it comes down to what you're willing to accept. How much pain and discomfort you're willing to accept, how much fat you're willing to accept. That's it. It's that simple. Right? In every moment of every workout, you make a decision of what you're willing to accept. I'll accept this pain or I'll accept this fat. Simple as that. Right? One more burpee is painful. I'll accept it or I'll accept where I'm at. You ain't gonna die. We know that you ain't gonna die, right? So the pain or the fat. Me, I don't mind a little pain and discomfort, right? When I was training to, to play college football, trying to go to the NFL, that was my thought process, right? I'll throw up, I'll pass out before I let this pain stop me from the pain I'll have in 10 years when I realized I could have did one more sprint, one more push up, one more burpee, one more pull up to achieve my dream. So now that I didn't go to the NFL, I have no regrets because I left, I left all I had inside of me out there in the weight room, on the track, on the football field, right? And for you guys, I want you to feel the same way about your life when you look back. No regrets, right? Because there's something that, 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 that how you feel about how you look is holding you from, right? Maybe it's going for that promotion, right? Maybe it's, it's asking that boy or girl out. Maybe it's, it's speaking up in front of, of, of a group at work because you don't like how you look and feel. Right? There's something that how you look and feel is preventing you from doing. Maybe it's playing basketball with your son. Maybe it's taking your daughter to the pool or the beach. Right? So it ain't all about nice abs and arms. It's about being the best version of you. Right? I mean that shit. Being the best version of you. Right? It's holistic. It's everything. And part of that is physical, right? Aesthetics and health, right? And it all starts with your mindset, right? With your mindset, all right? So I'm going to take me a nap before I do all these duties. I've been trying to do these later, but I've been basketball practice, basketball games with my kids, and I, it's been getting late and late, so I thought I would do one um, mid-afternoon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I can talk a lot, I know. Part of that is I'm trying to catch up for all the years I was afraid to talk with my stuttering issue. So uh, I'm long-winded, uh, but it's from a place of love. Uh, I'm trying to push you guys to be the best you can be, all right? Have any questions, if you want to reach out to me, uh, we do virtual workouts in the morning, right? If, you, if you're not comfortable you know, or not local, you can call into our boot camps, guys, and join us, right, from, the, from your own home, from your living room, and, and if you don't want me to see you and push you, you can put your camera on, on blackout where I can't see you. I'll see you logged in, but I won't see you and be able to push you. Um, so that's, that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, 6 a.m. Pacific up to 9 a.m. Pacific, right? If you want help with your habits, right, hour by hour, I can help you, I can help you figure out when to work out, when to eat, what things can help you supplement-wise, what foods you can eat. Right? For 30 to 45 days, let's rebuild those habits. Right? If not, just continue listening to me, and I'm hopeful that you guys can use this to make some fundamental and long lasting changes in your life. All right, guys? So, as always, uh, we're trying to get better. You know, BTY, trying to get better than yesterday. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Hump day! And, uh, you know, think about what I said about the mindset, about thinking about what our bodies are meant to do. And just making changes to, to be the best version of who you are. All right, guys. Love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.